Okay, this is a game I call Escape from Alcatraz. Um, it is a team wordy, team uh, building activity for my students, uh, problem solving activity. I play this with third, fourth, and fifth graders. Um, and the idea is that it's taken from uh, the island of Alcatraz. So in the beginning of the game, you have to, you set, I set all the kids down on line and I explain to them what Alcatraz is. In the history of Alcatraz, for those that don't know, regards to, to uh, regards to prisoners who happened to escape from Alcatraz, and they had to figure out their way, uh, first off getting out of the prison, and then once they got out of the walls of the prison, they had to figure out a way to get off the island and onto the mainland of uh, California. And I quiz the kids on, okay, do they know where it's located, what state is it located, and things like that. And after the kind of tutorial of, of the introduction of that game, I explained that each, that this entire floor here is the water, okay? Each, the whole floor is the water. These black circles here are, represent, are hula hoops that represent rocks in San Francisco Bay. Oh, in this case, the water, that is a rock, a rock, a rock, and a rock. And the mats represent the land. Okay, represents the land. Now that each team, there are four different teams, five different teams, and their entire goal is to figure out how to get from this island to this island to this island, then to this island and to this island, and try to get to as many islands as they can before the time is up. And this is where they have to figure out how they're gonna do this. Now, I'll have this on the blog, but the only equipment each team is given to figure out their problem of getting off their island and onto the different ones without touching the floor, or in this case, the water, uh, they can only use, what, um, which is represented by these circles. For instance, here would be, these two white circles would be two scooters, and these gray circles would be two poly spots and a jump rope, marked by that green squiggly line there. So each team is given two scooters, two poly spots, and a jump rope. Now. Um, depending on what you have for equipment, I try to color coordinate it all so the kids know uh, who, what equipment they can use. For instance, the purple team can only use the purple scooters, the purple poly spots, and uh, a purple jump rope. Whereas then maybe uh, this team over here can only use green equipment. And forgive me here, but the program I'm using here doesn't allow me to have multiple colors. Um, but for instance, this team maybe would have green poly spots, green scooters, green uh, green jump rope. This group could have um, yellow scooters, yellow poly spots, and a yellow jump rope, etc. And the reason I color coordinated is so that uh, the teams know which equipment they can use. I, it's a rule that the kids cannot use other teams' e uh, equipment. So if uh, my team had green scooters, we couldn't use the purple scooters and things of that nature. So on the signal, this team, and they can pick any island that they want to attempt to go to. They can try to go to this one if they want, this one, this one. It's all to them to work together as a team. So on the signal, this team, could, one of the players here, we'll put a player in here. We'll give, a, give you an X here just for a player, okay? So let's mark by this star here. Let's say this is one of the teammates over here. So first off, maybe this uh, player here marked by the star uses this poly spot. And they put the poly spot down on the floor or in the water, and then they travel onto that. Well, then maybe one of their teammates goes and brings them this next poly spot and then this person steps on that poly spot. Well, now they have to try and figure out if they have multiple players on their team, how they're all going to get them off this island after they've used, after they have used uh, these two poly spots. Okay. So, for instance, maybe this player here is trying to make it to the rock. So, if they make it to the rock, they make it here. Then they have to figure out how they're going to get uh, the other three off the island and onto this rock. So this is where they have to work together as a team. 
Um, this person could send the poly spots back. Okay, maybe this player here decides to use a scooter and they hop on the scooter and then they ride the scooter to the rock and then they send the scooter back and things of like that nature. So in the way the rocks help them try to get and then if they get all their players to this rock, okay, they obviously have, the, they keep their uh, equipment with them. Along with the jump rope, okay, and their scooters and things like that. If they got everything there, then they have to try figure out how which way they're going to go. Are they going to go to this island, this direction, or to this island? So um, that's the game. It's uh, called Escape from Alcatraz. Um, again, it's a teamworking game trying to get from one island to the other island. Um, one important piece of information is if this player, for instance, in the transition from here to here, if they step on the floor here, if even one person steps on the gym floor, or in this case the water, the entire team, the entire team must go back to the island that they, they were previously at. And obviously they take their equipment with them and things like that, and then they would have to... Uh, it would have to start all over again okay and that's the challenge of the activity again more information on this will be on the blog i'll share this on youtube and i uh, hope you guys like it